What's up, ego hackers? I just watched Chase's video on depression versus depravity, and all I gotta say is, boy, do I relate hard. My job requires that I watch a lot of different components going on at the same time. I was rolling this hot pipe, and my lips were also burning. I didn't put any chapstick on, and I was like, okay, I don't, I can go a little longer without the chapstick. I can go a little longer without a drink. Then I kept on saying to myself, I don't need it yet. I don't need it yet. I don't need it yet. I got so uncomfortable. My SIN fear again triggered that, that, like, it was so easy to fix, but I just decided not to. And you really can't do that. You can't neglect your inferior. Even though you, like, stop trying to be a dumb guy about it. If you're competent, competent enough to manage your own comfort, then just do it. <laughs> like, there's literally no reason not to. Neglecting yourself is just not worth it. All I had to do was put on that chapstick and take a swig. Oh my god, I started slamming things and I just was like so irritated at the pipe. This inanimate object, like all these little components of reality that's like, I just get so spiteful about physics not going my way. But the, but the reality of the situation is that I was the one neglecting the physics. I think I said this in a previous post, but you really do have to compromise with your circumstances. Like, if you want to enact your will on objective reality, on the way things are, then you have to negotiate. You have to play by the rules. Because even though you don't want to deal with certain little maintenance multitasky components that that you think you can just neglect those are going to come back to bite you and that's what happened to me and i got stressed out and i just kept thinking to myself like once i came down from it i literally had to like go to the bathroom and like breathe for a second because i was so irritated i was like so uncomfortable and it was so embarrassing because i was like oh my god i'm not a normal person and blah 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 and just like ah but that was really my own fault i wasn't managing my comforts i wasn't managing my inferior i always tell myself whenever i get irritated whenever i get frustrated i just repeat to myself tender loving care just Tender loving care, tender loving care, and just like do things precise, slow, and controlled. Whenever you find that reality seems to be spitting in the in your face, which it often does when you're an ENTP and you're like, oh, I don't want to deal with this, I don't want to deal with this. It's like, okay, you have to though. If you want reality to work in your favor, you have to give it tender loving care. Because if you tell reality that you hate it, it will hate you back. And if you tell reality that you love it, tender love and care, maintenance, patience, reality will give you the results that you want. And I guess that's, that, 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 is, that is something that I was thinking about and then Chase released that video and it was like, yeah, I, yeah, I'm stubborn. I know, I hate reality. I do need to manage my demons. I hope that's not too tangential, but you know, ENCP represent. 